What would be the most horrible way to die in Jurassic World? Well, today we have not just one answer to this question, but instead we bring forth a total of 10. This array of atrocious beasts will show you no mercy as we describe in detail the most brutal and painful ways these creatures will boot you from existence. Join us as we witness our subjects put through a series of simulations that will not be for the faint of heart. So if you enjoy this sort of content and want to see more, then please hit that subscribe button, slam that bell icon, and hold on to your butts while we reveal the new 10 brutal ways to die in Jurassic World. Number 1. Swarm of Death in Jurassic World Dominion, we were introduced to a plethora of new additions to this franchise, but one of them turned out to be a bit different and deadly. We're talking about these things, the giant locusts. In the film, these were resurrected from the Cretaceous era, except genetically modified to be much bigger, meaner, and hungrier than their prehistoric counterparts. It's not necessarily clear whether they would actively turn to eat flesh, but just as real-life locusts, these would go out and consume any form of vegetation, crops, and anything consumable for humans. But we aren't here to show you how you'll starve to death. While creating this video, something caught our attention. This clip. Observe how just one of these locusts managed to break through this wooden beam and snap this like a twig. Now, given that these are large, armored, and spiky locusts, having just one of them fly at high speeds towards a living creature could potentially be fatal. Let's use this dude as an example. Assuming that you find yourself caught up in a swarm, your best bet would be to stay down and find cover. But no, this dude happened to stand in the trajectory of this specific locust. The result? Impalement. But not just any impalement. Having a heavily armored insect fly at you at these speeds meant that this thing would get inserted in your soft, squishy body. But that's not all. This would be extremely painful. In the real world, members of the Acrididae family have some strange-looking mandibles. These moving inside of you would hurt a lot. If you got hit in these areas, you're probably dead. If not, you're likely to die from hemorrhagic shock. And that was just one locust. Number 2. Quartered this word back in the day had a bad connotation, given that this was the term given to someone who was going to get chopped up into four chunks. There's a creature in this list that could maybe do the same thing with some friends. Meet the Dimetrodon. Nope, believe it or not, this is not technically considered a dinosaur, but it's just as dangerous. Dimetrodons in this franchise live in the dark, murky amber caves beneath Biosyn territory. Getting ambushed by these creatures would only leave you dead. These creatures are equipped with a large head filled with pointy incisor-like teeth that are capable of shearing and tearing. Do not let this low crawling animal fool you. These things in this franchise are exceptionally fast. On open ground, these things would easily catch up to you. And when they do, expect to get grabbed by any of your waving appendages and knocked down. But guess what? Chances are that these are not alone. Dimetrodons are seen to be relatively social creatures. While one of these animals is busy biting down on your head, expect another one to go for the leg, and perhaps another on your arm, and, well, the rest is self-explanatory. Death will probably not come quick on this one, but the next one might, if you're lucky. Number three, swallowed with no escape. Another non-dinosaur that is featured in the Jurassic series, and perhaps one of the most famous, is the giant Mosasaur. An extremely dangerous sea monster that was genetically engineered to be a lot larger than its real-life counterpart. In 2015, we saw Zara Young get picked up by a Pteranodon, rinsed in water, and be unlucky enough to end up in the jaws of a hungry Mosasaur. Now, what people don't realize is what actually tends to happen inside this area when the jaws slam shut like this. Don't worry, that's why Goji Center exists. A Mosasaur, both the real-life and fictional renditions, actually had two rows of teeth, with the second being hidden inside the roof of this creature's mouth. Some people think Zara was swallowed alive because she missed this first row, but no. Let's take another closer look at this clip. 
Right before the Mosasaur closes its jaw, we see her actually make contact with all four of her limbs with the bottom part of this creature's mouth, which just so happened to be in the chomping trajectory of the Mosasaur's second row of teeth. Meaning that when this animal closed its jaws shut, Zara suffered an enormous impact to both sides of her body, getting pierced at the same time. The impact alone would have been strong enough to crush the skull, stop her heart, and die, more so from the pressures inflicted by the creature's mouth and teeth. Getting swallowed in this manner is no fun way to go, but at least it's not as painful as this next, smaller creature. Number 4. Deadly Swim In Jurassic World Dominion, we witnessed a rather rare dinosaur with a capability that kinda took us off guard, the Pyroraptor. This ferocious creature was equipped with a feathered body, very sharp talons and claws, and very sharp small teeth capable of shredding through flesh. Pretty much a perfect killing machine. But there's more. In this simulation, we will recreate what would have happened to Owen once he fell inside this icy cold water. Now, there isn't enough evidence to prove that the real Pyro could swim, but this one can. Now that our test subject is submerged, let's unleash the Pyro. This animal immediately would go for the neck, jugular, and proceed to rip open your upper torso until you ultimately lose enough blood. The lack of oxygen would also contribute to your faster death. This pyroraptor doesn't just stop in the water. On land, these animals are extremely dangerous as well, following the same methodology of killing that they used underwater. In levels of pain, this one would rank somewhere in the middle, but the real pain begins in this next method of killing. Number 5. Face Peelers Before we discuss the next creature on the list, let's make one thing clear. These, and those, and these flying creatures are also not considered dinosaurs. These are all considered pterosaurs, or flying reptiles. This pterosaur you see here made it to this list because of a gruesome tendency this thing seems to have with humans, which is to go for the head, or face. This is the Dimorphodon, and it gets worse. If we zoom in on this creature's mouth, we will find that this animal has some pretty large teeth. But this goes further. If you've seen some of our other face-off videos, you'll know by now that a wider skull and teeth shaped in this form will inflict some pretty nasty bite forces. Though we do have to mention that the real-life Dimorphodon is said to have a relatively weak bite. But the anatomy of this bioengineered Dimorphodon is a lot different, suggesting that it can bite a little harder than its real-life counterparts. Mix that with its tendency to go for your head, and you have a pretty brutal kill. Now before we simulate this next fatality, let's introduce you to a term used in the medical field known as degloving, which is the traumatic incident of the outer layers of skin and other tissues getting torn off, exposing the muscle, tendons, and bone underneath. A part of your body that is particularly vulnerable to this sort of traumatic injury is your scalp and parts of your face. You probably know where we're going with this. A dimorphodon who manages to crawl up close enough to your face would probably start chomping anywhere near these areas. If a good grip is secured with those teeth, it would technically be possible for parts of your face to get ripped off, exposing any musculature underneath. And no, this does not immediately kill you. You'll live long enough to witness this thing keep chomping at your upper body until you're lucky enough to bleed to death. Number 6. Laser of Condemnation No, this isn't a laser that shoots you down. It's what follows after the laser is pointed at you that's a lot worse. Now, there are two dinosaurs that fit this description, but this one is known as the Atrociraptor. Note that this rendition of this dinosaur is a lot different than its real-life counterpart, almost doubling in height and genetically pooled from some other dinosaurs previously seen in other movie installments. The result? A bioweapon that follows orders from anyone that points a laser at its target. Apart from that, this specific type of raptor proved to be extremely resistant to impacts in several areas of their body. So it's safe to say that once that laser finds its target, these raptors will stop at nothing to kill their next victim. Back to the simulation platform. We will now point our laser at this person. See how this raptor will only attack the individual that was pointed at? Similarly, it's possible that this creature would have been used for tactical missions carried out by all sorts of clandestine operations, cartels, mafias, or even used as security guards for wealthy individuals. But enough with the small dinosaurs, let's move on to bigger ones with bigger weapons. 
Number 7. Impaling Those of you who have several of these videos under your belt know very well where this one is going. Perhaps one of the largest carnivores in this franchise is the Quetzalcoatlus, a colossal flying reptile that was seen attacking an aircraft in Jurassic World Dominion. We should mention that this animal was massively oversized compared to its real-world rendition. Uh, but the real-world one bird. was still really big also, almost dwarfing a giraffe. This creature's most dangerous weapon was this long beak tipped with an extremely sharp end that can pierce through any fleshy surface and kill large dinosaurs. You? Easy! Though there are two ways that you can die here. Given that your body is small compared to this monster, the most likely outcome would you be getting picked up and swallowed. The interesting part is that this creature has no teeth, meaning that it won't necessarily bite into you while you're getting picked up, which means that you will be alive inside its stomach if this thing decides to eat you. Here's the messed up part. Animals such as these that swallow their prey whole tend to have a section of the stomach called a proventriculus, a part of the digestive system that secretes special enzymes which help break down bones and other hard tissue, since Big Bird here can't really chew. You are still alive, but would probably die from lack of oxygen. But in the process, you'll suffer from claustrophobia, hyperventilation, panic attacks, and anything that will contribute to you using up any oxygen available to you all while the enzymes eat through your skin. The lucky fellas who would fall prey to this beast would get killed by impalement. The cats would simply skewer your body with its long beak and proceed to swallow you while you're dying. There are some animals on this island that won't necessarily want to eat you, but will still be happy to violently smack you to the afterlife like the next one we're about to discuss. Number 8. Claws of Doom not every dinosaur here looks at you like its next meal. Some are simply disgusted by you and then boot your sorry ass from the Earth's roster. One of these animals is the massive Therizinosaurus. A new but much welcomed addition to this franchise, this creature's most notable features are those hands equipped with claws that can reach a whole meter in length. An important thing to note here is how this will affect a human if they catch just one of these claws to the face or body. All of this swing force can and will be concentrated on the small tips of these claws, meaning that the piercing power will be enormous. If you happen to be stupid enough to be in the range of these swipers, here's a couple of things that would happen to you. 1. If you're lucky, the swing impact would simply knock you dead if you get hit by the shafts of these claws, probably tearing you up regardless. But the most messy outcome is getting hit by the tips. These swing speeds would easily decapitate a human with a single swipe, rip open the upper body, break limbs, and leave nothing but your juicy insides spilled all over the floor. If it makes you feel any better, the Therizinosaurus won't proceed to turn you into dino feces like the next creature we're about to meet. Number 9. A Bloody Mess We have covered giant theropod bites many times on this channel. This one is a little special, not only because you'll finally see a Giganotosaurus kill someone for the first time, but you'll also see how brutal this would have been had this Giga actually killed someone in the movie. Yes, this Giganotosaurus lives up to its name by measuring a whopping 15.5 meters, making it one of the largest apex predators in this franchise and also one of the most bizarre, given that there are stark differences between itself and its real-life ancestor. One of these major differences was the shape of its teeth. In the real world, a Giganotosaurus would use its teeth for literally cutting through flesh and inflict bloody wounds which would then make its prey bleed to death. These teeth were narrow and serrated. Our big Jurassic Giga also has sharp teeth, but they are a bit aberrated in shape and arrangement, and on top of that, they are a lot thicker than they should be. Apart from that, this animal's skull is a lot wider than the real-world Giga. So what does this mean for our test subject, or any other dinosaur for that matter? This now means that apart from being able to cut you, these are now able to exert a stronger bite force, combining some of the cutting power of the ancient Giganotosaurus with the crunching power of a more robust dinosaur. Getting bit by this animal would mean that it would envelop your entire upper body, bite down with enough force to snip off your limbs, and then proceed to swallow. Hemorrhagic shock would be a death factor here, but not before you enjoy a front row seat down this animal's dark, smelly throat, where you would plunge headfirst into a pool of acid, drown, and die. It's said that this creature was supposed to be the Joker of this franchise, but let us introduce you to the dinosaur that truly deserves that title. 
Number 10, The Final Grin. We saved this one for the end because apart from being arguably the most dangerous creature, it's also the most messed up in the head. The Indoraptor. There are many reasons why this animal makes it to the top of the list. A hard-to-kill, bioengineered murder machine with a huge bite force, massive claws, and superb intelligence. There's nothing worse than meeting an end against a dinosaur that enjoys watching you fade away and beg for your life. We've covered the messed up ways that this animal enjoyed the act of tormenting victims in these videos, so make sure you watch them, because now we're about to focus on a few creative ways this animal would kill its victims. Number 1. Given that this animal has a crazy set of jaws and teeth that can bite through any human body part, what would happen if it followed through with this threat right here? A bite to the face. Now, to be clear, it only takes around 1100 to around 1400 PSI to crush a skull. We'd like to imagine that this is pretty attainable for an Indoraptor, meaning that if the Indoraptor followed through here, it would have easily bitten this dude's face right off, leaving a disgusting aftermath. But knowing the Indoraptor, this would have been done slowly. Method number two. These claws are exceptionally resistant and curved, and since it tends to reach out to its victims, we can imagine a scenario where someone is running away from the Indoraptor, but its high speeds and long reach help the Indoraptor grab its victim by the head, inserting its claws right through the eye sockets, killing this victim immediately. Now, there are many more methods, but we think we really pushed it in this video. Can you think of any more methods that could have been featured in this list? Special thanks to Evolution Square for acting as our park butcher and giving us this dope footage. Go subscribe, comment below, and see if your methods show up in the next 10 Ways to Die. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video!